This video shows something of the technique um, and teamwork required in, in cave digging. Um, this particular location being the tooth tube, a cave that we've been excavating over the last month in Ontario. Um, this is probably the last time we'll visit the tooth tube for a while. We're on to other more exciting possibilities. What are you seeing in there? That yeah, goes in a bit, turns right, goes all over the place, lots of mud, little holes all over the place. Good. Some good. more digging. Okay, in that case, I'm on my way in. Here's your digging team. The three of us McGordon, Greg Warchell, Jeff Collins. We're about to make our breakthrough today. The Leche Guia of Ontario. Yes? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Guia? I doubt it's Leche Guia. Leche Guia breeze and it blows air when the barometer changes and continues to blow for several hours when the barometer stops changing. Does it not this throw gravel? It throws gravel out too, doesn't it? Uh, it throws gravel out. There's like I think 2 billion cubic feet of air in there. Wow. Okay, well maybe we're not quite that yet, but we're optimistic. So we're working hard. The flies are coming out now. Um, obviously this is my job right now. I'm the bucket man. Or at least the guy fills the bucket standing here in the trench. Um, up here, who do we have? It's Greg Warchell. He's helping at the top. Uh, we're into some heavy clay. We're starting to find that there's um, uh, like a granite, uh, not granite, um, gravel, bits of gravel underneath that we're digging into, as well as clay that's really, really blocky. Here we go. Here's an example. Really, really blocky clay that we're digging out of the tube, uh, cleaving off in big blocks down at the end of the tunnel. Um, there's a, a gravel conglomerate that we're hacking into at the bottom of the blocky clay. Here we are. This is a uh, this is today's digging in the, the tooth tube. Um, looks like we're up against a barrier in front of us of clay. Uh, we're digging downwards. Uh, looks like a real wide crevice in front of us that dips downwards. Can you uh, ah, try and get a little bit closer there, Jeff? Just show it up. How's it looking? It's looking good. Okay, Keeps so going. all along. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, so there's the tooth tube. We are uh, we're making some real good progress today. <sighs> okay, so probably trying to explain it in the tunnel. That's a tool. That's what you want to use for digging in clay. A uh, little extra light. Not much light now. And uh, the regular helmet light. I think it's off. So Jeff prefers the shovel. And he's smaller than me. So he can fit in there easier with the shovel. Uh, we've also got a little garden raker which helps bring the uh, the broken up clay backwards. That's it. That's it? Yep. So there we go. We're all packed up for the day. Changed into clothes that are relatively clean. Putting away all the equipment. I like to put the, uh, the helmet and everything away in my backpack. Uh, reason being, good to keep a low profile. Uh, we don't generally like to announce where the caves are, um, just for their own protection and possibly ours. That's your only clue that we may be up to something other than simply hiking, cave digging to be exact. Following along through the forest, 
looking for sinkholes. Greg says he's found a sinkhole that's quite deep um, and a good possibility. So here we go, man. Let's see what he's got. Ah, brambles. Very painful. Lots of little thorns. Rip and tear at you. As we clawed our way through the forest, um, the leaves and the sticks and brambles and so forth, it soon became apparent to us that we were in a, a very cave-rich environment. Um, a plateau, a significant plateau, uh, that was absolutely pocked with sinkholes and uh, inexplicable collapses of the forest floor all around us. And uh, we came across an actual shaft that led down to a, a water-washed passage, which we are yet to open, possibly this weekend, with a little bit of uh, creative excavation, you might call it. So a uh, video will follow on that in the coming weeks. And for now, we put the tooth tube off. So if the, uh, the thought of cave exploration and cave discovery interests you, uh, consider uh, having a look at my book, Caving in Ontario, Exploring Buried Karst by Michael Gordon. Uh, you can find a link to that um, on my website, www.rockwatching.wordpress.com.